Okay. Hi guys, welcome. I'm gonna be trimming my hair. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do it. Um, right now, my hair, I cut it in layers, maybe like, maybe like back in January or like February, but I like it still. I think I'm just bored of the style. Cause before this, my hair was like all one length and then I cut like some bangs into it. Um, but I'm kind of bored of this, like how it's thicker up here and like flimsy down here. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of annoying me now. <laughs> so I'm gonna be trimming it all closer to one length. So I thought I would just show you guys how I do that. Cause I'm not a professional hairstylist or anything, but I've been cutting my hair at home for on and off for like a long time. So I thought I'd just show you guys. Okay. So first step is like, we're gonna be like dividing it into parts so that it's easier to like get one even cut, right? So you take from your ears, like one section, like so. I'm gonna be tying this up. Now, technically you're supposed to wet your hair I never do because I think it's just easier to cut on dry hair to get it off. But I don't know, I might wet it a little bit, maybe. So looking at it now, it feels thicker up here, but because it's in layers, as it gets like down here, it's like thinner. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it to about I'm thinking here. That way it's like a fresh new cut for the summer. I think that's where I'm going to want to cut it to. Plus, you see this? It's like dry. So, I don't know. I just want to change. That's also why I'm cutting it. But we're going to start lower and then work our way up. So, I think I'm going to start here. So much nicer already oh, look at the difference it looks thicker compared to this it's all like flimsy and it feels so soft oh I'm so excited I this was a good decision I'm excited <laughs> okay so now what you do is to try to get it even it's just feels so much nicer. No more split ends. <laughs>
to kind of try and get the same things. Obviously, if you're gonna cut your hair yourself, most likely it's not gonna be perfect. But just try your best to get it to cut as even as possible. It's funny, I just get into these weird moods sometimes where I get an idea and like I have to do it. So I was like looking at my hair and I was like, oh, I really want to cut it. And so then um, once that idea got into my head, like now I have to do it. But I figured I might as well show you guys what I do because why not? Maybe I'm not saying somebody should follow this because I don't think by any means this is like anywhere near correct what you're supposed to do, but I don't know. It helps me to like watch other people cut hair, cut their own hair, take a pick of different techniques and stuff. And I find this way works best for me. So that's what. And then once you're done, you're happy with this layer. Also, if you have um, a comb, it's actually easier to do it. But since I don't have one, I'm just using my fingers. I'm kind of measuring it out. Um, but I'm happy with this. So then I'm gonna move on to the second layer. And the second layer layer is gonna be like right by the start of my eyebrows and then just go all the way around. I'm sorry, not the start, by the tail of my eyebrows. Yeah, go around. Um, I don't think I'm gonna recut my veins because I've been really liking this like side vein action so i think i'm just gonna leave it like that for now and then just try to line up what you just cut and again this is not gonna cut layers so i'm kind of bored of that so i'm not cutting layers so that's why I'm kind of just cutting this to be the same length. You see how you can see where that new cut was? This is the old flimsy dry end. So I'm going to be cutting that. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting that. So again, just take your hair. kind of makes it more balanced so that it's not like flimsy tipped like that it's more thicker it looks thicker it feels thicker and um it's softer
last time I cut my hair, I did like a, a butterfly cut where you basically like tie ponytails and then just cut like that, which was cool, but I don't know. I get a lot of split ends because of a lot of, I use a lot of heat tools. So I just think it wasn't really for me. And I just prefer my hair be all one length instead of um, like layers. My hair just gets too damaged so quickly that layers just, it never really looks good for long. So also if I keep it all one length, it's easier to trim. And now the top section. Okay. Okay, so now for the top section, this is basically my veins in the front. So I'm going to take head down. Which I think I'm not going to cut the front pieces at all. I think I'm just going to leave them. But I'm just separating it so that it doesn't. Um, I don't cut it by accident. Now I look like I have antenna. I'm just taking a bug. <laughs> See, that made it more even. Now the top section is basically the same length as the bottom section, which is what I wanted. Because I wanted to get rid of like the layering that I had. And now all you have to do is um, focus on cutting whatever doesn't fit that um, like, see how this is too long? I'll just cut that. And that's the top layer of the bottom. There you go. That's my haircut. That was pretty quick. <sighs> I'm happy with it. Feels so much lighter. This is the back. Feels so much softer. So much lighter. My hair all one length. Well, kind of. I have, I think, a little bit of layering, but that's okay. As it grows out, it'll even, I'll keep trimming it and it'll even out. And then, what I learned about cutting my own hair is you kind of really just have to take your time with it. Obviously, I'm not a pro, so even like if tomorrow after I wash and I style it, I notice maybe like there's one piece that's not exactly the right length. 
I just go back and cut it or if I feel like one hair is too long I'll just cut it and just take your time with it cutting your hair cutting my own hair I, I think it's really fun it's almost therapeutic it's relaxing <laughs> but anyway there you go that's it to check I just I'm gonna go like this Also, I've never had like a strong attachment to my hair. Look, I know some people, like they're very particular with their hair or like they could never ever cut their own hair or, I mean, I've never been like that. So even if it doesn't turn out that great, I don't mind. Cause I've told, like on and off, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I, yeah, I think, I don't know. I think it's just more fun. Hair always grows. Well, usually, right? Because there was a time that I had like a bald spot here. Hair is just fun. I don't have like a strong attachment. Usually it just grows back. So if whatever reason I look kind of crazy right now in a few months, just recut it. And uh, it's not a big deal. I don't know. I just think this looks better on me. Like the bottom just being closer to one length than layers. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks for joining me on this hair cutting journey. It's not really a tutorial because I don't really encourage anybody to do this. This is just what I do. So thanks for witnessing me cutting my hair. Um, I don't know, subscribe if you wanna witness me doing other random stuff. <laughs> thanks for watching, okay, bye.